Charles Guathme was an invited uh, visiting professor, and we all wanted to take his class. And all the girls fell in love with him because they just thought he was a dream come true. But he was very he was very tough on everyone because he really expected you know more than you could ever believe that you could you, you could give to him. And so the assignment was to build a beach house because I think he was out here uh, from New York because he was involved in the music industry and he was involved with um, he was here and taking advantage of this class to see what he could get. And he assigned us the project that he was out here to design, which was a beach house. It was so difficult to try to get the sense of elegance, of simplicity, of what it is to design a house that looks effortless. It takes a lot of work to make something look effortless. That's I've learned for sure, and especially on this project with Charlie Guathme. And I would, you know, I was just really confused about it. I was, then I'd get angry, and then I would come back, and I would tear it all up, and then this is terrible, and that's terrible. And finally, I had to just give myself a break to get back to the simplicity of the union of the spaces and the scale of the rooms. How big is this really? And building a model is one thing, but building a real thing is something different. But you have to start out with the model and you have to start out with the drawings and then you can measure it out on a floor. So that was a really good learning place for me. Eugene Cupper is another person that I'd like to talk about. He. He really helped me from the very beginning of the of the school, the very beginning of the of the class of the school year, and he's really brilliant. He is a wonderful teacher and and just very um, very thoughtful. And he was building a house for Harry Nilsson, the singer, the musician, and I was his landscape architect. And I learned so much from Eugene Cupper about portions about how to make the landscape useful. And that's where my studies at UCLA with Ian Davidson about um, Indian art, the Chaicha Hall, very famous in that part of the world. The Chaicha Hall is a worship space that you, it's a cave into the side of a mountain. And you go into that cave and you take these steps around the stupa and then back out again. And so this ritual of walking around seemed to me to be a very important uh, aspect to measuring and understanding what this piece of work is going to become. And when you start thinking about the volumes of space being deductive, in other words, here's a big mountain and you carve out the Chaicha Hall. You carve it out with columns, with lotus capitals, and part of the ritual is walking around that stupa at the very end of it and then coming back out again. And this is all at Ajanta and Allura in India. So my experience from learning about Indian art and Indian sculpture and architecture has indelibly <laughs> marked my brain with something that I use in all of my projects, and that is the ritual of moving around a space.